All right, guys, I am in the comfort of my own home. I have a gym I can go train at, but with Corona, I feel like it's important to make sure we're doing some at-home workouts. So today, we're gonna be going over abs. Now, training abs can be super easy or super difficult, depending on really what you have at home. It's all about doing body weight movements, making sure that we're using full range of motion contraction today. Super easy to follow along. All you need is a timer. We're gonna be doing a Tabata style, which means basically 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, 20 seconds of work. What I'm gonna be doing is picking two exercises, alternating for six rounds, and then switching up the exercises, alternating for six rounds. One more time, switch and alternate. So all together, it's gonna to be nine minutes of abs, and we'll be doing a total of six different exercises. I have, some laundry detergent as some extra resistance for the last movement. If you guys have some milk or anything else that's gonna give you a little bit of extra resistance, you're gonna to wanna to grab that now before we get started. And then get your timer set up. I have a Tabata app. You can also just use the timer on your phone and look at it and keep track. First movement is gonna be V-ups, followed by, first movement's gonna be V-ups, followed by bicycle crunch. So V-ups are gonna be here, bicycle crunch. We're gonna be twisting. Second movement, what we're going to be doing is the side to side crunch superset with plank hip dips. And then the last thing we're going to be doing, this is where your resistance is going to come in. We're going to be doing flutter kicks for the first one right here or here. And then this is going to be our last movement overhead, overhead setup with a little bit of resistance. So, that is gonna be all the movements. We're just gonna be doing the first two for the first six rounds, basically. Three, two, one, let's go. Follow along at home. First round done. We have 10 seconds here. It's going to be counting down, or you can look at your phone. Get ready for butterflies. not a laundry detergent ad. Now, if you can't continue to do the V-ups, you can just go right here and do toe touches. It just sounded like I farted on my mat. So you can do right here this round. Again, if V-ups is too hard, just right here. Woo! Feel that burn. Back to bicycle crunch. If bicycle crunch is too hard, instead of alternating, just go right here. Normal crunch, side to side. Last round of this. Make it hurt. <laughs> Whew. After this set. We're gonna have 30 seconds of rest and then move on to the next one. Put 30 seconds on the clock. 
And then we're going to be on to our next two movements, which is going to be the side to side and then the plank dip. So right now, transverse abs are definitely feeling it. Abs are one of those things that recover quite quickly though. So, you know, no matter if I'm in the gym or if I'm at home, training abs, you don't need a ton of rest. You know, you don't need two minutes between each exercise. Take a little bit of rest and then get it started. Here we go. On our backs, side to side. So you can see my spine, the top of my spine's off the ground and my hands are touching my ankles. And I'm just trying to stay up side to side. Ten seconds. Roll over on your ab mat. We're gonna be in a good plank position. Good plank position. Elbows, butts nice and tight. Abs. I'm not up here and I'm not down here. Side to side dips. Side to side with our hips. I'm not leaning all the way. It's just side to side with those hips. Try to eliminate any extra movement that you need besides the hips. That first round kicked my butt. Again, this one, we're in that crunch position almost the whole time. We're getting that burn. I'm already sweating and we're definitely not even halfway done. I also got my new line, hat and shorts, Gymshark Steve Cook line. Second cycle here. Good job. Keep it up. Go to that happy place. Maybe close your eyes and think about stepping foot onto that beach, that vacation you might have planned, or just knowing that you're doing this for yourself. A healthy core is crucial and so many of the other exercises we do to have a good stabilization. Also, it's going to really help keep your back healthy. Doing things like this plank right here, we have to brace our whole core, not just our stomach. We're also using all sorts of the core muscles here. All right, 30 seconds. Maybe get a breather. Get a, grab a drink of water if you need it. But watch that clock. Last thing we got, flutter kicks. Flutter kicks can be straight up and down or scissor kicks. And then we have our resistance sit up. Now, if you can't do it with your milk or your detergent, just do it hands overhead. see my core is tight I like to put my hands under my butt you could also just put them right here up and down don't let those feet touch the ground when I get tired I like to switch it up all right here comes the hard one full sit-ups keeping this above our head this is also a good shoulder mobility exercise you're gonna realize real quick if you're lacking in that shoulder mobility area. All right, one round down. Three more or two more to go on this. Back to our flutter kicks. This time I'm gonna start with my scissor kicks. Back and forth here. 
Legs are straight. This one's gonna feel like someone's punching you in the stomach. After about 15 seconds, maybe switch it up. Get a little different feeling. This one's gonna be a little bit more hip flexors. Good work. Good work. Grab that resistance, whatever you got there. Get creative, you're at home. sweating. All right, here we go now. You can even just do a leg lift. See how long you can hold it up for. Even bring it up here. Slowly lower it down. I like to move them. In my head, something about just moving makes me feel like time's going by a little bit faster. Good work. Last set here. Last set, best set, and then I'm going to go do a little laundry. short period of time. We're not resting a whole lot. You can feel that your abs have definitely gotten a good workout in that. If you want to see more of these, give them a thumbs up. I'm going to get some water and start a little wash. Thanks for watching.